We present a novel approach to effectively estimating the high quality depth of rigid objects appearing in a 2D image sequence in a stereo conversion workflow. Typically, objects in the same class share a similar structure. Utilization of an exemplar 3D model helps estimate the depth of a broad range of 2D objects. The structure fitting technique iteratively deforms the exemplar 3D model to conform to user-specified 2D correspondences in the image. During the iterative process, the optimization of rigid motion minimizes the distortion of deformed model. The appearance matching process first extracts the control of the target object by employing a trimap-based matting technique and compute correspondences between the 2D contour and the boundary of the 3D model. The result from the structure fitting step is deformed once again to complete the appearance matching. Rendering the Z-depth image of the resulting 3D model provides an initial depth. Overall, the initial depth is reasonable as the example model is carefully matched. However, the depth discontinuities around internal edges may not be captured faithfully. In the edge aware depth refinement process, the depth is refined by balancing edge aware smoothness and the initial depths according to the confidence weights. Finally, the depth is seamlessly adapted to the background depth by adjusting a depth mapping function with contact constraints. Now, we demonstrate the results from our method. We verify the adaptability of a single example model to a wide range of target object variations. In general, the depth varies smoothly inside the object. The magenta circle show that dramatic transition of the depth is realistically described between the windshield and the bonnet of the car. More salient depth discontinuities are also recovered very well across the silhouettes of the side meter. As a result from our method as an accurate pose and is rarely distorted, our method leads to the successful generation of high-quality stereo images. The results show that the proposed method produces plausible 3D depth for the generation of quality stereo images. The background was not stereo converted to emphasize the depth of the objects. An extreme case still achieves reasonable depth impression. As long as the objects are rigid, our method produces quality depth maps. The bottoms of chair legs are precisely attached to the ground. This experiment verifies that our method can work well with a broad range of rigid objects as it does not produce an erroneous result even when an unexpected input that has some degrees of articulation is given. Now we show the other results from our method.